Box Town 78. Woo! Can you see that? <laughs> Yeah, man, it's about about oh five oh nine hundred hours. Uh, what's the date? January thirty first. Uh, on a Thursday, and I am trying to break records. Last time, I slept in the backyard at nine degrees Fahrenheit. Right now, the temperature is. Check it out. Now that's Celsius, guys. It's Celsius, all right? Minus 17 degrees Celsius. Let's see if we can convert that. I think we could. Hold on. Let me see. Come on. It's so cold, it's not functioning right. All right. See you guys, temperature unit. Let's do it at Fahrenheit, okay? And now, all right, just seeing if you guys are still with me. All right, now we're gonna go one degree, baby. One degree. <laughs> Good golly, that's 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 pretty dangerous. I mean, nine degrees is dangerous, but one degree, oh, and the wind chill, I, I'm not even gonna get into that. But the temperature in this tent, if you can see here, it is about. 12 degrees is that yeah between 12 and 13 degrees fahrenheit right now in this tent all right that's the temp i'm testing out the this uh water bladder that i purchased a month ago so now this is supposedly insulated there's nowhere on a package that displays the the specs and detail we are testing out the nathan's what is that the nathan's can't read it ice sleeve okay now again this is called the ice sleeve for a reason right so we're gonna see in the morning how this turns out and now so far i already took a sip of this and it's ice cold and i put warm water in this the tube wow the tube is actually pretty uh <laughs> pretty solid so We'll see what it looks like in the morning. All right. Right, it's still liquid. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It's still liquid inside. So we'll see how it turns out. So we're gonna see how it is. Right now it's after five in the morning. We're gonna see somewhere around afternoon, noon, noonish, what the end result's gonna be for this. This is the perfect time to test it out. Uh, this tube is already solidified. I, I, I can't even take a sip out of this. So that's already strike one because I specifically bought this so I can go winter camping. Uh, so looks like I may have to stick to the thermos like I usually do when I go winter camping. And that definitely holds up. I don't even got to worry, but I don't have to show you. Stanley, they really... Do a fantastic job creating good insulated products so nathan's we're gonna see how you holding up all right and i do like nathan's products i have a nathan light that i use when i go bike riding and it's i've had it for a couple years still works but again this is a little test here all right foxhound 78 signing off see you guys in the morning or in the noon all right 2019 January 31st one degree one degree one degree Woo boy Yo 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 what's going on Fox Sound 78 and January 31st 118 in the afternoon just spent the night out in the yard check this out the outside temperature right now 12 degrees that's right 12 degrees fahrenheit so last night i was in this 
I was in this shelter here, the Hilleberg Octo Tent, and it was one degree when I got in here, and I slept through the night. Uh, now here's the assessment. My feet were a little chilly, so what I had to do, I had to get my down jacket and put it over my feet, which I'll show you in a little while. And that was how I pretty much kept my feet warm. But now at this point, I don't even need a jacket anymore. Uh, also what I did too, I completely tucked my entire, my head inside the sleeping bag using my, my own, uh, the air that I was breathing out from my body, which is automatically going to be 98 degrees. I was completely submerged in this bag. And when I did that, I'd say within a half hour, maybe, maybe an hour or so, the bag got to the point where, and I'll show you right now. I was submerged to the point where you couldn't even see my face. My head was completely tucked in. No air was getting in. Like, I was pretty much, like, completely closed off. All of this was just shut off. And it was eight, it was reading 80 degrees. Now it's about 70. All right, 70. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's 70 degrees in this bag. And again, it was 80 before I even opened the, this little PC, I, it's hard to show it. It was, before I stuck my head out, it was 80 degrees in this bag. So, just to give you guys an idea, it's extremely, this, this is the Nemo Nocturne 15 sleeping bag. Nemo Nocturne sleeping bag. And it's rated 15 degrees, and I was able to push it to one degree Fahrenheit last night. Like I, I broke my own record. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, but again, I had to make some adjustments. I used my my uh, rabbit fitting endurance jacket to cover my feet, which I'll show you in a little while. All right. Box out 78. Once again, outside temperature, 12 degrees, 12 degrees. You're seeing this here, folks, 12 degrees. Temperature in this tent is 31 degrees. So that's slightly below freezing, guys. 31 degrees inside the tent. 31 degrees. <laughs> I used my Rav Infinity Endurance jacket and I put and I put it over my feet and my knees and whatnot to add for that insulation. And guys, there's nothing wrong with this. Like it doesn't even make sense to have your down jacket or any other insulation and just have it just being unutilized. Hey, you, you take it off your torso it on your feet you know what i'm saying uh i didn't even need you know you don't need to wear it like over your your top portion because this this lean bag is good enough this is the the nemo nocturne 15 all right check it out and the technology they use is the flower gate insulated technology insotech insoftech or insotech yeah insotech and I believe the fill power, I want to say it's between 700 and 750. The loft is just amazing. Check it out. Absolutely incredible. This thermos, the content is still hot, but the cap is froze shut. I can't even open it because it's still liquid along the edges. And uh, I just got to remember next time, make sure I got a cloth or napkin and just wipe it down because it's it's completely solid. I can't even, can't even break it. So we're gonna 
open the sleeve up and see how the contents are doing. All right. So this is pretty much survived the night. It's ice cold, but it's still liquefied. So I'm I'm a bit imp I'm impressed. That that portion of it was pretty cool. And it, it didn't solidify not once. I was checking it periodically throughout the night. It's, it's just ice cold. I mean, it's it's still good enough to drink, but it's not something you would like to drink in the wintertime. <laughs> You know, you could use it for cooking. That'd be no problem. This piece here. Now, I can't take the sleeve off of this, but it's frozen solid. It, you, you can't drink out of this. <laughs> so, this wasn't very well insulated. Um, yeah. So, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. Um... I want to test it out in lower temperatures and see what the issue is. See if the situation is the same. But as of now, if this freezes up, I mean, what's the point in this even being insulated? So this is how I stayed really, really toasty. I completely had this cut off. And that's how I slept most of the night. <clears throat> and my own, if you guys can see, see that perspiration? That was pretty much my heat source. <laughs> yeah, because when you're out in the wilderness like this, the only heat source that's around is you, <laughs> nothing else. Right now, I feel like I'm in the, the, com the comforts of my home. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm in my room. 80 degrees when I woke up inside this bag. Again, the actual temperature in the, in the tent was when I woke up is about 30 degrees. Let's see what it is right now. Yeah, so this is the temperature inside my tent right now. Inside the tent. So this water's frozen. I just, this just happened like two seconds ago when I opened the valve of the uh, Nathan ice sleeve. I got some you know, water droplets here. Look, and it instantly froze. Sleeping bag that was just encased in is now encased in this small little pouch here. This is called the Seat to Summit. All right, so this is the size comparison, right? That sleeping bag that kept me warm in one degree temperatures is in this little pouch here. Freaking amazing, isn't it? Look at that, and it's light as hell. Yeah.